subscribe to my channel, Dream Budgets. Today we are going to be cash stuffing our sinking funds and I have not um, stuffed any of my sinking funds since January. So I really wanted to just kind of get this back um, to what it originally was. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our first sinking funds envelope and this is our top priority envelope if you will. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Happy Sunday. Uh, thank you all so much for the warm welcome back. And I wanted to just also thank you for your condolences. It does mean a lot to me. Um, it just, it's really nice just to be back. So I really appreciate the warm welcome back. So I did have a few emergencies that came up and I had to take money out of my sinking funds to kind of fund those emergencies. So I have little IOUs in some of these envelopes and I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff um, hopefully the amount that I took out originally. For school savings, we um, were owing $300. This is a $1,000 slip. I have $1,000 in my bank. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and actually put back the 300 and we were actually able to save $100 extra throughout the month. So a total of 400, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. So $400 is gonna go back into my school savings, which will bring up our current balance to $1,400. For personal, we actually took out $100. So uh, we're just gonna get to put those $100 back in here. And let's go ahead and just count how much we have in here. So $100 goes back in here. Currently have 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 210, 20. So $220 is what we have in this envelope. So 220. For emergency, we have $260 that we're putting in. I believe for emergency, I did take some money out. Yeah, I took $200 out. So technically, we're only going to be adding $60 because we're putting back the $200. Um, so that's going to be one, two, which gives us a total of one, two, three. 350, 420, 40, 50. So $450 is what we currently have for emergency. And I think I mentioned it in my last video, but I got into a little bit of an accident. Um, I do have a deductible that I have to pay, unfortunately. So I am probably going to be taking all of this money out of there. And I really wished I focused on my emergency a little bit more because I would have had my 1000 So I definitely think that this time around, I'm going to just um, make sure I get to 1000 here uh, just in case anything happens. Let's move on down to house. House is $100 that I have to add in here. And I don't think I took anything out of house. Yeah, so let me just make sure there's not a little. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and put $100 in house. So that's gonna be 100. And it's gonna come out to be one, two, three, four. So 450, 470, 490, 510, 520, 530, 540. So 540 is what we currently have in house, which is quite a good amount actually. So 540. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our second binder here. And in this binder we have health. For health, we're gonna go ahead and add $100. So that's gonna come out to one, two, three, four. So 450, 60, 70. So 470 is what I currently have for health. And let's see here. So for cart maintenance, I'm gonna go ahead and put in 480. And the reason I put in 480 is because I actually pay my car insurance um, ahead of time, like I do the six months, instead of doing them every month. So I like to just do it one big payment. And that's what we have left to go ahead and um, meet my six months um, amount that I have due. So 400 and then we said 80. 
Okay, so I just realized that I think I didn't take the correct denominations for one of the categories. So we're just gonna go ahead and roll with it and see where we end up, honestly. I do not wanna refilm what I just did. So we are doing 400 and we're doing 80. So we'll do 50, 70, 80. Let's really hope that that does not trip me up as much as I think it's gonna trip me up. It so. should be $800. Let's see where we end up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Perfect. So this is exactly $800. And we will be paying this shortly. So I don't have to worry until December, which is when I usually pay my uh, next six months until June of next year. So um, how much is this? 800. Okay, now for vacation. Oh, Christmas, we're not doing anything. Gifts, we're not doing anything. Vacation. So for vacation, we are going to be adding $300. So that is one, two, three. $300. And we have, we should have 200 in here. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, 50, 70, 80, 90, and 500. So we have $500 so far in vacation. And I know I mentioned that I will be going on vacation. So I am gonna be going to Puerto Rico. I'm so excited to go to Puerto Rico because I've obviously never been there, but it just looks like this really great culture and atmosphere and the food looks amazing. I'm just so excited for the music they have. I'm gonna be sharing a little bit more as we go through, but yeah, I just, I can't wait. It's coming around the corner and I can't even believe I'm going on vacation again. I really do feel so blessed to be able to do that. So if any of you all are from Puerto Rico, please let me know what you all recommend. I have been doing my research, so I have a few ideas um, in mind, but I would love to hear from anyone that is familiar with the culture and I definitely would want to just get the most out of the experience. So please let me know. Let's go ahead and go back to personal bills. So for personal bills, I am going to go ahead and be adding $300, which is what I originally took out. And this binder essentially was my, my one month ahead, three months ahead, six months ahead. Uh, binder. I don't know if I'm being completely honest. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fund this completely because I th anticipate that I'm not going to be working as much come August since I do start my practicum site. So I think I'm just going to stuff what I can and I don't know. We'll just make it work. Let's go ahead and count how much I have in here. I have 100, 200, 320, 40, 60, 80, 90, 400. So $400 for my uh, month ahead bill. So I have $60 remaining and I can only assume that it's from emergency. So let me just go back here really quick and just make sure I stuff the $60 in here. Okay, so $60 goes in here. Emergency should have one, two, three. Four, so 420, 40, 60, 80, ooh, 510. So $510 is actually what I have in my emergency uh, envelope here. And I'm really, really happy about that because like I mentioned, I am gonna be paying my deductibles. So I have to go ahead and completely get rid of everything that's in here, so. So thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your Sunday. I will see you in next week's video. Bye.